Good morning, Comanche Nation. Welcome to the August CBC meeting. It is 10 o'clock. At this time, Secretary Treasurer, will you please do roll call? Mark Wimblevoya, Chairman. Here. Dr. Cornell Pee Wee Wardy, Vice Chairman. Here. Hazel Tassiqual, Committee Woman Number One. Here. Ross Carrara, Committeeman Number Two. Here. Alice Castnavoid, Committee Woman Number Three. Here. Robert Comacheat, Jr., Committeeman Number Four. Here. We have a quorum, Chairman. Thank you. At this time, Vice Chair, will you please lead us in a word of prayer? Thank you for this opportunity. Creator, our God, thank you this, this Saturday morning as we come together to try to talk about and resolve some of the issues of our nation that are multiple, but that we can do that in a good and humble and civil way, that we give respect, particularly for those that are leaders that are coming up, and that they can stand behind some of the things that we try to do. I think about our people as we confront the COVID-19 and things that uh, have come from that is very unexpectedly. We try to do what we can to prevent and keep their, our people safe, particularly our elders, as they begin to be sheltered and in, in very limited and contained into their households. And those that are unsheltered, that to be able to have hope and prayer for those that care for them, which are all of our people. And the veterans, as they begin to look at what they've done for us to give us this, this daily life that we have that is so precious that we cherish every day, each breath, each time that we come, we wake up. We have a, a gift of life as we begin to think about how we support our families and the things that we do and to try to help support those of our, our nation. I would like to say thank you for all those things that have come and particularly the elders as they begin to think about how they can move forward and give us advice as we begin to think about our agenda for nation building. So all these things are a part of us, but the glory comes from you, Creator, the things that you've blessed with, the gifts that you give to us, and our ability to create a world that is wonderful, that was resilient, and also that affirms who we are as dominant people, but also all the indigenous people throughout the world that confront the so many the tragedies and the same things that we are here in uh, this community. So I think about all of our families, particularly as we move into the new school year, that they be safe and they begin protected by all those that have dedicated their lives to try to make it a better life. So all these things that I pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. CBC, will you please look over the July Minute meetings?
If there are no questions or concerns, can I get a motion to accept the minutes? <clears throat> Make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay, motion made by CBC member number two. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by our secretary treasurer. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, minutes approved. Okay, before we get into our general counsel officer's report, some of our tribal members addressed why our CBC meeting was closed. At the last CBC meeting, several people came into contact or tested positive for COVID and brought it into our CBC meeting. After which, these people were seen in public and at powwows. I received numerous complaints from our Comanche people and our elders that these people were being exposed to COVID by the attendees. To lessen, to lessen the risk of exposure while still providing service in a safe environment to conduct business for our tribe, the August CBC minutes were closed. We cannot control the outside events, but we can control and do our part and provide a controlled environment for our meetings. People can still participate via live stream and we encourage you to do so. We also need to look out for the well-being of our CBC as they are required to attend and make decisions that are in the best interest of our nation. Okay, the uh, general report for activities for the chairman for July I'm just gonna highlight uh, the ones I attended. The Lawton Chamber of Commerce State of Education meeting went very well. Attending the swearing in for the Kiowa chairman, new Kiowa chairman, Lawrence Spottingbird, and the vice chair, Jacob Sotai. I did walkthroughs of our war pony, Red River Casino and Cash Casino. Provided remarks for our Comanche Nation Workforce Summer Youth Program end of the summer event. Met with Mel Mayor Booker for a planning the November Native American month for the city of Lawton. Attended the city of Lawton Chamber of Commerce Economic Development Luncheon and participated in the 21st birthday of the city of Lawton with our Comanche youth dancers and our vice chair, Dr. Cornell P. Wardy. Okay, vice chair. Oh, thank you very much. I'd like to give a very short report in oral tradition. Um, first and foremost, I, I value the voice of our Comanche Nation. And, and that this uh, CBC is closed to the public is not my choice. I voted to open the CBC meeting to the public with precautions as to spreading any type of variant of COVID-19. I believe in the practice of democracy, which is what, what we elected officials were, were elected by you, the Comanche Nation. I have only one voice, one vote, on the business committee, my vote was a resounding no. Don't close the CBC to the public. Let our people know, participate, but under these COVID conditions, to be safe, spread six foot, but uh, I was outvoted. The movie Prey, produced by the Comanche citizen Jane Meyer, was awesome. She deserves a shout out and talked to her yesterday. You know, if you're watching on live stream today, know that I give you an entire Native Cass, a huge shout out for your outstanding skill set and production of Prey. You make our Comanche people proud, especially when you get a, a, a director coming from a, a indigenous and in Comanche perspective. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. And so Jane, a huge shout out to you and, and a role model that you are for all of our people, particularly our youth if they see something positive that could come out of production, a Hollywood production such as Prey. Yes. On Thursday this week, many of us have celebrated Lawton's birthday through the production at the Lawton McMahon Auditorium. Telling the story how Lawton was founded was the basis for my talk. A perspective from the Comanche, the Kiowa, the Apache. It was great to see the chairman there. It was great to see the Comanche dance troupe represent us and all the things that we try to do in um, trying to make ourselves visible in the invisible world in Lawton Fort Sill. Comanche Homecoming Pile was a huge success, and I want to give a shout out to all the Homecoming Committee for your hard work and carried on the rich tradition of Comanche gatherings through song and dance. To be invited and join in the swearing in of the Kiowa chairman and vice chair was an honor. The new Kiowa Community Center 
was an ideal place to hold such a large event and, and a feast that brought new tribal leadership and a much needed transition in Kiowa governance. Two weeks ago, I, I joined a local gathering at MMIW and warrior women that hosted a meet and greet for Joy Hofmeister at the Comanche F County Fairgrounds. Hearing the local voices and concerns from all Native people was so powerful for any candidate running for Oklahoma governor. Last weekend, I attended the gathering for Native scholars and community practitioners at Haskell Indian Nations University in Lawrence, Kansas, where we met to explore how edu higher education institutions and tribal community leaders can integrate culture and language into K-12 curriculum for all tribes, particularly in, in the Midwest. As for the Comanche Elder Survey, I'm doing the analysis of the survey and uh, that it was administered last month and working with some K uh, Cameron University Native students to do the analysis. Those results will be presented at next month's CBC meeting. With the opening of school this month, I want to wish and pray that our children be protected from any danger and threat. Best wishes to the Comanche Academy as you start your second year operation. You are in indeed a dream come true. You have my full support. I'd like to yield some time for the CBC to have voice, not just three of us, but that's up to our chairman. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Vice <coughs> Secretary Treasurer. Uh, as the Secretary Treasurer, I perform the duties cited within the Comanche Nation Constitution, Article 12, Duties of the Officers, Section 3, Secretary Treasurer shall keep records including financial support, financial reports supported by Finley and Cook CPA firm and the tribal administrator have ensured that the uh, records and the keeping of the minutes of all tribal council and legal quorum business committee meetings is being, uh, is being documented and that's done by Dotson Court Recording Company responsible for sending all notices of legal meetings, ensure that tribal employees keep copies of all and such notices and requests for meetings, ensure that such notices are mailed and published. Uh, section four, ensure copies of all minutes of the tribal council, legal quorum business committee meetings and resolutions are sent to the Anadarko agency. ARP report, in summary, the nation submitted the fifth <clears throat> ARP report to the U.S. Treasury. <clears throat> the balance remaining as of 8-6-22 is $23,225,401.45. That means that 71% of the available ARP funds issued to the nation was expended on tribal members needs during the pandemic period thus far. The balance of the ARP funds will be submitted to the Comanche Business Committee for determination on how the remaining balance of ARP funds are to be expended. <clears throat> the nation received information from the United States Treasury Office that the Comanche Nation will be receiving additional ARP funding in the year of 2023 we will receive an additional $3 million, and in 2024, we'll receive another $3 million. The uh, consist, consistent of meetings with the following uh, tribal administrators and chief executive officers of the title entities review their monthly reports and financial statements. <clears throat> the tribal administrator, tribal government, monitoring services, expenditure, Request for 60 tribal programs. Monitored major expenditures to ensure that procurement regulations were being complied with. Chief uh, Executive Officer for Comanche Nation Gaming Monthly Report, Financial Report and Expenditure Report. Met with the Realty Officer. <clears throat> Requested a report on tribal land that still needs to be moved to trust. 2021 resolution 52 2021 fee land that needs to be moved under trust that supports our food distribution transportation public information office 
maintenance, women's shelter, and children's shelter was supposed to be moved under trust. We're working on that presently. A new resolution will be submitted for the realty to, by the realty director to move fee land that supports EPA, law enforcement, fire department, and the business center, tribal members' home site located at Mattachai. The reason for the delay in getting our tribal lands under trust is BIA short on realty employees. Realty office has submitted the necessary paperwork to the BIA for 2021 resolution. Reviewed by the proposed budget request for the future CalCAF operations. Also met with the Comanche Housing Authority Director, attended the July Housing Authority meeting, reviewed the Director's monthly operations and financial reports, accomplishments by the Housing Authority. <clears throat> the Housing Authority has sent out representatives to make home visits to our elders for the purpose of providing technical assistance in completing Housing Authority applications. They have serviced 125 elders. Emergency Rental Assistance Program opened March 20, 21, provided support to 1,158 households with 2,406 bills being paid, average of $2,806 per household. Finley and Cook CPA firm reviewed monthly financial report developed by the firm, provided the CBC members with a summary financial report developed by Finley and Cook related to ARP federal fund accounts, informed the CBC members of the fact that the ARP funds can be expended through 2024. The tax commission administrator reviewed the uh, monthly report and financial report requested a status report on the tax commission's efforts to obtain payments for unpaid tribal oil and land gas severance taxes by private contractors who are dealing with our nation. And I've dedicated time also to follow up on tribal members' issues and concerns. Thank you. But off. Thank you, Secretary Treasurer, for that thorough report. Okay, at this time, we're moving into our first resolution, enrollment resolution, resolution 1092022. Ms. Taskenvoid, will you please read that resolution? Yes. List number 1252. Whereas the Comanche Business Committee has been presented a list containing applicants who have filed for membership with the Comanche Nation, and whereas the list includes the names of applicants who have been verified as eligible pursuant to Article 3, Section 1C, membership of the Constitution of the Comanche Nation, which states all descendants of Alatis eligible for membership under the provision of Section 1A of the article, having one eighth degree or more of Comanche Indian blood. And now therefore be it resolved that the Comanche Business Committee accept the verification of eligibility for the applicant shown on list 1252 by the Comanche Nation Enrollment Office. And be it further resolved that the Comanche Nation Enrollment Office notify the eligible applicant by letter of their approved membership and further that the enrolled member uh, be provided information concerning their enrollment including name, date of birth, roll number, social security number, and degree of Comanche blood. List number 1252, new members being added, Markel Esperanza, Clyde Johnson, Gavin Johnson, Kimberly Johnson, Kurt Johnson, Maisie Komachi, Adriel Messner, Emily Todd. Thank you. All in favor of resolution 109-2022, Please signify by, I need a motion to accept the resolution. Make a motion. motion made by CBC member number four. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by CBC member number three. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion passes. Our next resolution, resolution 1102022, enrollment resolution. Ms. Castavoid, will you please read that resolution? Yes, starting at the second, whereas 
List number 1253. The list includes the names of applicants who have been verified as eligible pursuant to Article 3, Section 1C, membership of the Constitution of the Comanche Nation, which states, all descendants of allottees eligible for membership under the provision of Section 1A of the article having one eighth or more degree of Comanche Indian blood. And whereas the list of applicants are considered adults but have not been enrolled in any other tribe and the documentary evidence is on file with the enrollment office. And now therefore be it resolved that the Comanche Business Committee accept the verification of eligibility for the applicants as shown on list number 1253 by the Comanche Nation Enrollment Office. And be it further resolved that the Comanche Nation Enrollment Office notify the eligible applicant by letter of their approved membership and further that the enrolled member be provided information concerning their enrollment, including name, date of birth, roll number, social security number, and degree of Comanche blood. List number 1253, those being added, Nanny Johnson, Kenneth Lovett. Thank you. Can I get a motion to accept the resolution 110-2022? I make the motion. Motion made by CBC member number three. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by CBC member number four. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, resolution passes. Our next resolution, transit resolution, resolution 111-2022. Mr. Carrara, will you please read that resolution? Yes, resolu resolution number 111-2022. Um, whereas the Comanche Nation Transit Department has decided that we are ready to add two new vehicles to our fleet, these vehicles will be two 2022 and 2023 Chrysler Voyagers with wheelchair accessibility. Uh, vehicles will be pur purchased using Federal Transit uh, Administration Formula Grant funding 1916-651-000-000. Uh, the vendor chosen is United Access. Uh, price of vehicles is subject to change due to low availability in the ADA vehicle market. Uh, we have a goal to move uh, to completely wheelchair accessible vehicles by fiscal year 2025 by using TAMP as a guide and funding this with the FTA formula grant funding until goal is reached. And whereas the Comanche Nation Business Committee has determined that it is the best interest of the nation to acquire and implement the purchase of vehicles for continued service and meet TAM plan goals, fiscal year 2022. And now therefore be it resolved, the Comanche Nation Business Committee hereby adopts and authorizes the purchase of two wheelchair accessible 2022 Chrysler Voyagers. Thank you. Can I get a motion to accept resolution 111-2022? Make a motion. Motion made by Secretary Treasurer. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by our Vice Chair. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Resolution passes. Our next resolution, Realty Resolution 112-2022. Mr. Carrara, will you please read that resolution? Resolution number 112-2022. Whereas the Comanche Nation and Indian Child Welfare Department leases uh, real property located at uh, the 2210 West Gore Boulevard, Suite 3, Lawton, Oklahoma, 73505. And whereas the Comanche Nation ICW Department re requests approval of a third amendment to the lease agreement effective as of July 17, 2019 with the first amendment date, August 10, 2020 and the second amendment date August 18, 2021, which will be made a part of their original lease agreement. And whereas the Comanche Nation ICW department uh, wish to renew the lease for three years from August 1, 2022 to July 31, 2025 at a rental rate of $2,167. There might be an error here. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, two thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars thirty-six cents per month, and whereas the Comanche Business Committee has determined it is in the Comanche Nation's best interest to approve the addendum to the lease agreement for real property located at twenty twenty uh, twenty-two ten West Core Boulevard, Suite Three, Lawton, Oklahoma seven three five zero five, 
and now therefore be it resolved, the Comanche Business Committee hereby approves of the addendum to lease agreement attached here to and authorizes the Comanche Nation Chairman to execute the same. I make a motion to approve. Okay, we got a motion to approve resolution 112-2022 by second. CBC member number four. I'm sorry, number two, can I get a second? Second. Second made by CBC member number one. Do we need to make a amendment for to make the to correct the a dollar amount because that says it looks like it says two million, but to change the decimal point? Absolutely. Okay. So for the record, please note that the rental rate is two thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars and thirty six cents per month. Right, we got a first, we got a second. With the new amendment, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Our next resolution, Realty Resolution 113 2022. Vice Chair, will you please read that resolution? Going into the um, third, third whereas. Whereas the Comanche Nation Constitution, Article 6, Section 7C, grants the Comanche Business Committee authority to execute leases, contracts, or permits concerning property which is owned exclusively or jointly by the Comanche Nation. And whereas the Comanche Business Committee passed Resolution 59, 2021, which granted $300,000 to the Realty Department out of new business to establish the Cal-slash-Calf program. And whereas the Realty Department established the calf, cow slash calf program and have provided expenditure reports and updates to the Comanche Business Committee, along with the quarterly beef cost from entertainment, which supports the expansion of the cow slash calf program. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Comanche Business Committee hereby authorizes an additional $300,000 to be placed under realty for the expansion of the cow slash calf program to acquire the items listed in the attached budget justification request. Thank you. Can I please get a motion to accept resolution 113-2022? I make the motion. Motion made by CBC member number three. Can I get I'll a second? Second. Second made by secretary treasurer. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Resolution passes. Okay, our final resolution, resolution 114-2022. Vice Chair, will you please read that resolution? Last one, two, three. Whereas the Comanche Business Committee is determined in its best interest of the nation to utilize their Comanche lands from the preparation and initiation of the cow-calf operation for economic development within our reservation boundaries. And whereas the Comanche Business Committee is determined that that's it's the that's same, that's we're on one one four. Okay, all right. This one's ECDC. Is that number one one four? Yes. That yes, sir. Okay. All right. We're going with the one two three fourth. Whereas. Whereas the Comanche Nation Tribally Operated Center, located 810 Southwest B, Lawton, Oklahoma, 73507, the plumbing, electrical, HVAC, mechanical, framing, and firewalls, drywalls, doors, and windows floor will adhere to Comanche Nation Resolution Number 113-17 and adhere to the National Electrical Code, 2014 edition, and International Building Code, 2015 edition, and all codes approved by the Oklahoma State Fire Marshal's Office. And whereas the Comanche Nation Child Care Programs, tri tribal-led agency, is increasing the amount of the total cost of the project by $990,000, $990,000, of dollars as noted in the set, uh, set aside request from FY 2021 and FY 2022 due to the increased cost of supplies, materials, labor, and shortages caused by COVID-19 pandemic. Now, therefore, let it be resolved that the Comanche Business Committee approves the Child Care Development Fund 
for the Comanche Nation Tribally Operated Center, electric, electrical, HVAC mechanical, framing, firewalls, drywall door and windows, flooring, and authorize the, the approval of the bid submitted uh, to the Property and Procurement Department by Comanche Construction, LLC, in the amount of one, is that one million? Yes. One million eight uh, hundred and ten uh, dollars. Uh, I'll put it at one comma eight one zero comma zero 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 plus nine hundred nine hundred ninety uh, three uh, three three hundred seventy five dollars, which is nine nine zero comma three five nine which totals two million uh, eight hundred and third three five nine so let me repeat that two comma eight zero zero comma three five nine the increased costs are due to COVID-19 pandemic the increased costs were covered by set aside monies from CD CCDF funds from fiscal year 2021 and fiscal year 2022. Thank you. I need a motion to accept resolution 114-2022. Make the motion. Second. Motion to accept. Second. Second. Motion made by CBC member number three. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by CBC member number four. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Resolution passes. I would like to make an amendment to this resolution. Um, the dollar amount, um, it is um, the property and procurement department by Comanche Construction and LLC in the amount of $1,810,000 plus the added change is $990,000. $359, which brings a total to $2,800,359. Okay, we have an amendment. All in favor? I'm sorry, I need a motion to accept the amendment. Make the motion. Motion made by Secretary Treasurer. Can I get a second? Second. Second made by CBC member number three. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Resolution passes. Before we go into executive session, uh, Secretary Treasurer. Will you please go over our ARP report? Okay, can we bring that up, please? The Ameri American Rescue Plan report under home repair, it was budgeted at five million, <clears throat> budget modification to 26 million, year-to-date expenditure is 30 million, 93, 311.30. Remaining balance is 906,688.70. Total tribal members assisted, 879 assisted, 440 applications remaining. Year to date report for rental assistance. It was budgeted at 4 million. Budget modification, 3 million. Year-to-date expenditure, <coughs> $6,913,439.50. Remaining balance is 86,560.96. Tribal members assisted by month is 1,353 assisted, 671 remaining. The whole ARP budget, general assistance, 35.3%. Food assistance, 4.26%. School assistance, 0.54%. Home repairs, 30.02%. Rental assistance, 6.78%. A total of 76.9%. Approximately 77% of the budget went directly to the Comanche people thus far. And that is our status report at this time, Chairman. Thank you, Secretary Treasurer. Can I please get a motion to go into executive session? Make a motion. Motion made by Secretary Treasurer. Can I get a second? A second. Second made by CDC member number two. All in favor, signify by saying. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, we are now in executive session. Thank you.